Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is part two to getting a full commission as a real estate agent and I wanted to continue this one because uh, again this is such a frequently asked question and I wanted to kind of segue into two pieces in this video uh, because one question is regarding the actual fee itself with like a quote normal seller and another one is with friends and family and that kind of thing okay. Now before I uh, begin understand that it's ultimately your business and you do what you want. I know a lot of people who argue with me back and forth, this and that, but at the end of the day, right, if you want to go out there and people are haggling you and you want to make the, the lower commission, go for it, right? It, it doesn't really matter, right? Take this as a grain of salt because I know I give you guys tactics. Some people will employ some of them. Some people don't employ some of them. It's really up to you, okay? So when it comes to friends and family, keep in mind before I move on, if I give Sally, who's my cousin, a discount, now everybody else who goes through Sally that comes to me will expect that same discount, just so you know, okay? Remember, it's, it's a pattern. So if you start with one, it's gonna turn into everybody else, all right? I'm just letting you know, okay? Now, let's go into the actual nuts and bolts of dealing with this objection or uh, this common theme, right? Like I can drive around here, there's a company uh, like four or five blocks away from my house, their window in the front says listing fee one and a half percent. Now, obviously the public doesn't know that they're still gonna charge them another 3% on top of that for the buyers, but in the public's eye, we don't know how they perceive it. So you see vans, you see billboards, you see all these other companies, this and that. And I've been getting that question more and more, right? Not from people actually experiencing it, but from thinking, okay, I'm seeing this, is it gonna happen, right? So you need to understand that before you go in and actually do the presentation, don't be running your mind all crazy, like, oh, they're gonna ask for 3%, okay? This is what you do. A lot of you when, you, when you're at the table and they start talking about uh, your commission, right? One of the tactics that I use that really, really helped me was I made it performance-based, right? But what does that mean? You can break that up into so many categories, right? Number one, right? Let's say I said, hey, you know what? I can guarantee that I'll sell your home in 28 days or less, okay? They're like, well, that sounds good. So now if they're asking for my commission, saying, well, can you drop it down to you know, four, three, or whatever it is, say, look, why don't we do this, right? Um, if I can get X, Y, Z, A, B, C done in this time period, that's fine, right? You guys are good with that, you're happy with it, and you would be confident in using me, right? Perfect, so let's do this. I guarantee you 28 days. I'll agree with you that if it takes longer than 28 days to get your home under contract, that I will lower my fee to X, okay? Now, fast forward to the next one. We can do, hey, uh, I appreciate that. You kind of go through the same lingo or something similar, and you say, look, now, now that we're on this subject, right? If we can sell the home for 450, right? That's what you would want, right? Great. Now here's the two part you can go. You can either go up and say, well, if we sell it for 460, right? Would you agree to pay me another half point, right? You'll get another, whatever, $10,000 in equity. I'll get another 500 bucks in commission, whatever it is, because it's performance based. Now, if it drops below X amount, right? Let's say it was 750, right? Where I get 7% or whatever it is. Uh, 740 would be 6% and then 730 would be 5% or whatever it is, right? I'm just using a random example, right? I make it performance based based on what price I get them, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm putting my money where my mouth is and saying, hey, I can help you do this. That's a better discussion in my mind than just talking about, well, you know, I'll do this because a lot of the objection handlers just say no, which I've used and it works. That's classic Mike Ferry. There'll be other ones where people will say, well, let's look at the marketing plan, right? We have a 60 point marketing plan and, you know, we'll take out, obviously, if you want to do it for one point less, that means we're going to do or scratch 10 of the things on this list. Let's look at it, right? So understand that if you're gonna get in that conversation, it's up to you to control it now. And that's why I always figure the performance thing is good because again, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, but I'm also showing them, hey, I wanna stand up for my commission. However, give me a chance to, to prove it, to demonstrate to you that I can't actually get the job done. With that said, now it's a little bit more of a level playing ground when it comes to talking about the commission because uh, this is in a lot of people's minds, right, in uh, the customer's eyes, they see this as a cost versus an investment, right? If you're somebody who works with a lot of uh, expires and for sale by owners, or people who maybe had a bad experience, like uh, Olivia, one of our clients, right? Um, she had been burned two or three times before, right? Uh, we're about to close on our home in, I think, four or five days or something like that. She had two previous experiences that were just horrible. She reached out to us through Facebook and said, hey, can you guys help me, right? And even when we talked to her on the phone, I think Lloyda was the one who, at the point of contact in the beginning, she was like, man, this lady sounds like stressed. And when, when they met with her, I think her and Kevin went on that appointment, 
she was just relieved, right? But in the beginning, she was very almost standoffish, asking about the commission and this kind of stuff. And when you look at scenarios like that, I'm sure all of you watching either have had that scenario once, twice, five times, you begin to see why people would have a backlash or that it's coming from that point. It's not that they genuinely don't like you or don't feel like you're worth whatever it is that you're asking. They just have that bad experience or some kind of thing in them that causes them to say, hey, I don't wanna pay you six, do it for five, do it for four, do it for seven, whatever it is, right? So if you're in that situation especially, approach this conversation about the commission with a little bit more awareness and empathy in the sense that they're not saying you're not worth it, Bob or Sally or John. What they're saying is, what they're saying is, is I had a bad experience, so all realtors I think are worth X. That's one example, right? And until they really get to know you, right? Until they really get to know you, or they've already decided maybe they don't like you, they're gonna put you into that group. And now if you're in that group, you're gonna be treated as one of the, the every person in that group, right? There's not gonna be like, oh, okay, this guy's different, right? I'm willing to pay him more. Because when you think about it, right? In their mind, if the average realtor is worth blank, and for everybody that number's different, the moment you set yourself apart, they would be willing to pay a premium, right? Why do you pay a premium for valet parking, right? It's not just the way you park, it's the way they treat you. Oh, hello, sir, right this way, and they kind of escort you in, right? It's an experience, right? It's a customer service. It's all these other things in real estate that we forget about, and we think that it's just this numbers game, like, oh, well, John will do it for six, he'll do it for five, let's just go with him, right? So if I can go back to the, uh, the first the first uh, video that I made where I talked about you have to have a system, right? From the moment you talk to them to the moment you sit in front of them, what did that look like, right? And then your presentation itself. Is it well rehearsed? Is it smooth? Is it empathetic and all that? Because if it's not, then now we're gonna play this game where at the end they're gonna, they're gonna bring it up to you, right? Another thing I see that, that is a mistake is a lot of times people will dodge people's questions, right? I know if you get a question about commission, you're not supposed to answer it on the spot and all that, right? And we, we never really do. However, if it comes up later or throughout the presentation, we're feeling like some tension, right? And this is the last tip I'll leave you with to make sure that you get uh, the, full, the, the full commission. If you feel like there's an elephant in the room, call it out. Call it out. A lot of people don't do that. I don't know why, right? You. You, you're, you're at the, the table, they're about to sign, and you feel like something's off. You feel like something's off, right? You've all been there. If you haven't, you will. And instead of just calling it out, hey, you know what, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller, or both of you, I'm sensing you know, that you, know, you guys are still a little bit uncomfortable. Is that right? I'm giving them the opportunity now to talk to me, right? And they'll say, well, yeah, a little bit. Cool, you know what? It's all good. Tell me, you know, like, let's put this, this paperwork to the side shoot me straight what's going on what are you guys thinking right now right where are you at in the thought process where are you at right with that said now they're going to open up to you and they may give you the truth which will be well you know what in reality we like you it's just you know the price it's 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 tough to accept you know we wanted you know 600 and you're saying 550 and now the truth will come out and it can be handled at which point once you do then the commission and a lot of these other things the length of the contract won't really be as much of a deal and you'll be able to now move forward, uh, get them to sign and do whatever it is that you wanna do, right? Handle, and this goes beyond just handling the commission guys, right? I just wanna make sure that that elephant is gone because with that elephant in the room, number one, they'll never make a decision and number two, there will always be something in the forefront, meaning they won't say what it actually is, it'll be something else, right? So maybe even instead of saying the commission, they'll just say we wanna think about it, right? Which you've had before where someone's like, ah, you know what, this sounds good, Brian, but we wanna think about it. Instead of handling it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no problem, here's my card. <clears throat> and most of you never hear from those people again, or you follow up, and then they tell you over the phone, like, well, they might even say, well, you know what, uh, we're still interviewing people. And then right after that, they'll say, well, we just, we, we thought you charged too much commission. They literally just said, we're still interviewing people, because they're still kind of brushing you off and not telling you the truth. And then right after that, they tell you the truth. That's happened to me, believe it or not, more than once when I was new. So understand what I just said. Okay, that's gonna help you a lot. The elephant in the room, get rid of it. Remember, if you um, are talking to people that you know, if you give one hookup, everyone else is gonna expect the hookup, remember that. And lastly, make it performance-based, right? Give yourself some, some wiggle room with the negotiation so you have the opportunity now to get whatever it is, it is that your full commission is, okay? Cool, so I'll end it here, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, all my social media handles are there, and again, uh, Operation Classified is still for sale right now. And lastly, Modern Success. Make sure you guys get on Modern Success. 
as it gets better and better every single day. Okay, see ya.